We thank God for another opportunity to be with you today for this time of reflections on the Hope in Heavens devotional written by Pastor He A. Hadewe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Hoi Ketulani and I'm a pastor with Christ of Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. The topic before us today is a sobering one and also very, very important topic. And it is, you will be refined. Our Bible passage is Malachi chapter 3, and I'm going to read verse 1 to 3. Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before you. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like Lodra's soap. He will sit as a refiner, and as a purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. A memory verse is still from the same chapter. I'm reading 3, verse 3. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. A reflection. God is amazing and he knows how to take his people through the process of refining. Before I return to that point, let's first explore the way God guides his people because it is very important, as Pastor Adeboye alluded to it in the Open Heavens devotional today. God provides his divine guidance to his people and he molds them in order to bring the best out of them. The important thing is, are you ready to bring yourself under his divine guidance? Are you ready to submit to the very painful process of remolding? God is ready to use anyone to accomplish his purpose, but it has to be on God's term and not on our own terms. That is often why the problem lies. We want God to use us, but we want him to do it on our own terms. Unfortunately, it is not going to work. God wants the best to come out of us, gold, silver, and precious stone. But we have to submit ourselves to him so that he can mold and make us into what he wants us to be. The refinery process might come through the trial of our faith. Have you gone through such trials and how did you come out? Ask for the grace to go through fiery tests victoriously. And relating to that last statement, I also want to introduce my new book, which is Everyday Victorious Living to You. It's a meditation and prayer book, and I'm sure it will help you in your Christian race. You can get it from www.publicizejesus.com. The Lord bless you as you get your copy. Our prayer point. Some people go through fire, but instead of delivering their gold, they are burned by it. Pray that you will reveal your gold. You will reveal all the precious stones in you, even to the glory of God. The Lord bless you and keep you and continue to sustain you in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day and bye.